Hey everybody and welcome to Sage Hollow Farm. We are going to give you a video of our greenhouse. We purchased this greenhouse on Amazon and the product name is Out Sunny. It is a six foot by ten foot hard side greenhouse. There's a few features that we really liked about this uh, greenhouse and one of the ones was the gutters gutters and downspout we purchased this flexible hose and we brought these from south carolina so we get these buckets from a client of ours he owns a restaurant and he gives these five gallon buckets to us and we're using these to gather the rainwater I also, very important to a greenhouse, is put some, is put these auger anchors right there. Those auger anchors. They are 15 inches long and they have this little, little auger um, design to it and you screw it into the ground and so the ground it's about probably what 12 inches into the ground and that helps keep the greenhouse nice and secure um, I purchased the auger anchors at Menards but I think just about every big box store would have those We also purchased a solar light. You can see the solar panel right there. There's a solar panel and inside that panel is a lithium battery. And so it gives us light. And we will go inside the greenhouse and I will show you the light. So there it is. This is the solar light. And we also purchased that from Amazon. And one of the things I really like, not only does the light give off a lot of light, but it also has a remote control, which is really cool. I keep it in this um, container to keep it dry, uh, just in case it rains a lot and it gets a little wet in here. Um, not only does it have an off and on and off switch, it's got a two hour switch, a nine hour switch, and uh, uh, you can change the brightness. So just a lot of options. And if I turn it on one day at say five o'clock and, and, um, it will come on the next day at five o'clock. So I can decide how long I want it to be on if I want it to be on at all. And it can be all automated. And I like that. That's a neat feature. And like I said, we also purchased that off of Amazon. Um, I also, so you can see the floor, I purchased this regular 12 by 12 um, patio block. And uh, most big box stores have that. Um, Menards, Lowe's, Home Depot, um, even Walmart carries these as well. So we got the whole bottom filled with these blocks so that I can sweep it off and keep it fairly clean. We will start with one side of the greenhouse. As you can see, this whole side is filled with um, the growing trays and, and uh, as you can see we've got lots and lots of seeds planted and actually some of them are even growing. Uh, our cucumbers are racing to the top here first and um, we've only had them in here for mm, four or five days maybe. But you can see that we have Right here we have a bunch of tomatoes, and as you can see, they're right there. Look at them. That's the San Marzano. 
um, tomato. This will be our first time growing these. And our tomatillos, again, the first time we're going to grow those. So that'll be fun to see how that works. And uh, like you've seen before, look at all those cucumbers and squash. They're going like crazy. And we also have a second layer down here. And they're growing, starting to grow. The broccoli is going first. Let's see right there, the broccoli is, is coming up. So I'm excited about that. We also purchased the um, we also purchased the chrome shelving. We've had that for a couple of years. I think we purchased that on Amazon as well. Um, it was a tall one and we split it in half. And, and so we have it filled with our seeds and our trays and our grow bags, all kinds of things we've got on this shelf. So it's storage and for growth, for growing our seeds. Um, and we also have these little, these are neat. Um, these are made out of like a, a hard plastic. And with a permanent marker, those will stay for quite some time. They won't disintegrate with water and, and with sun. They should stay quite a while. We also have, down here, we also have grow bags, they're called. They're felt, and they are grow bags. And I got these from Amazon as well. And this one is a Jeria or Jeria 12 pack felt growing bags and those are in the three gallon size and then these green ones back here are from Delxo and they are a seven gallon felt grow bag. So we're going to be growing some larger items in these. And this side of the greenhouse is our hydroponic grow kits. We also, again, purchased this from Amazon. Uh, we did hydroponics before in our other greenhouse, and we had really amazing success with that. And so uh, Jamie bought these to try and see how they would how they would work. We have uh, two brands here. This lower one is. Let's see, what is this one called? Ah, there's two of them, the lower one and the higher one. Uh, one is from La Pond, and one is from We Plant. They're hydroponic grow kits. Um, everything is contained in these grow kits. Um, the pump, right down here, the pump. The hose, you can, as you can hear, it's uh, working right now. And the um, little timer. This is a neat little feature. This timer has um, an on and off switch, of course. And then they have the timer of how long the water will flow through and how long the it will rest in between those times. And so it's a nice little feature right there. As you can see, Jamie already has these all um, labeled. And as you can see, we even have a little, a little, uh, that's a mustard right there. Mustard plant. But we have um, herbs and, um, we have herbs and different kinds of lettuces, um, kale and chard, and just all kinds of different um, butter crunch, arugula, red leaf lettuce, all kinds of uh, different kinds of herbs and lettuces in this one. 
And then this one will have strawberries in it. So we'll be our first time doing our strawberries in an item like this. So we'll see how that works. We also have, we've purchased, um, we have to purchase fertilizer, liquid fertilizer for these and you put them in the bucket and we get our liquid fertilizer from Fox Farm. And we buy several different kinds. Uh, one is a Grow Big liquid and the other one is called Big Bloom. And it's kind of interesting to note that the Big Bloom is from earthworm castings and bat guano. Well, <laughs> that's kind of interesting. We also really enjoy the vent as well. There's a roof vent that we use um, every day and we help regulate the um, temperature with inside the greenhouse. We also purchased a that will be a vent fan. Um, I haven't installed that yet. I just got it. Um, again, we got that at well, our uh, Amazon. Um, so I will give you a video later of that and see how that installs. Um, I also have, which is a very nice feature, we also have grow lights. And right here we have a grow light. It is an LED full spectrum growth light. And they have these little shades on them that direct the light down and they are four feet in length, each one of them, and they connect. So they are seamless. And so they connect to the full eight foot length and, and we have an electric cord and then we have one that is down below for the next layer of seeds that we have down there. Our greenhouse does not get full sun until about 930. So we have we have it on so we have it on a timer. And again I purchased this timer on Amazon. I will have all of this in the description um, in the description under the video. Um, but like I said we have this on a timer. So it comes on between five and nine o'clock. And so that will increase its growth time with the, um, with the, with the light. So there you go. And what's really awesome is that they are so lightweight that we can just literally put it on. We can put it on the frame of the greenhouse and it doesn't do any harm at all. So. There you go. There's one more thing that I wanted to mention. Jamie made some potting soil and she found a formula online of the formula for this potting soil. And, and I'll write this on the descriptions as well, but I'm just going to mention it now. It's one part soil, one part peat moss, one quarter part perlite or vermiculite, one sixteenth part of bone meal, one sixteenth part of kelp meal, and, and the micro roots. I don't know how exactly to say that, but it's right there. Mycorrhizae. <laughs> And that you follow the directions. I'm not sure what the part is for that, but. And we purchased, except for the um, dirt itself, the soil itself, and um, but we purchased everything else on, on Amazon. So this will be our first time using a, a certain formula. So this is exciting. I and mean, we have amazing growth already in just a few days. So. Um, we're going to see if, how this works too. We're doing a lot of experimentation and, and uh, we're hoping that um, it will be beneficial to us. So there you have it. That's a 
quick little tour of our of our greenhouse and oh I forgot to mention too kind of a neat little story um, when Jamie saw this greenhouse on Amazon the ratings weren't the best and the reason why they weren't the best is because of the quality of the instructions were really poor and the diagrams were really poor as well and but she read through the um through the reviews and she read what other people had done and i mean some people it literally took them two days to put together and, and uh, for us it took us maybe five hours total so we knew it was going to happen we knew uh, there was potential for difficulty and and with some of the things we weren't sure we just kind of reasoned together there was a few things that we had to redo a little bit but overall we were really very happy with um, the out sunny greenhouse and uh, it went together fairly okay I mean you didn't use a whole lot of <laughs> cuss words uh, to put it together so you know it went pretty good Anyways, thank you for coming, and like I said, um, I'm putting all these uh, descriptions of all these products that we've used um, in the description box below the video. If you would like to subscribe or even share this video, please go ahead and do so. And If you want to subscribe and hit the notification button, that'd be awesome. If you want to put like on the video if you liked it. So anyways, thanks for coming along and thanks for watching the video and, and, uh, you know, I hope that it kind of inspires you and, and, you know, we're kind of hoping for some success in this. Uh, a lot of what we're doing is kind of new. Um, like I said, we've done hydroponics before and a little bit more rustic kind of simple version. This is a little bit more high tech. And so we're kind of excited to see what's going to happen. And, and uh, we'll show you guys the process and the progress as we go.